All right, everyone, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. My name's Matt, and today we're going to be looking at Newcastle's fourth sign of the season, Jamal Lewis. Right then, here it is. Our fourth sign of the season has finally been pushed over the line. We've signed 22-year-old left-back Jamal Lewis from Norwich City for a fee that's estimated to be around £13.5 million. So looking at the deal just from a financial perspective, it seems to be a real coup because Liverpool were after him earlier in the transfer window and Norwich quoted them £20 million for him, which obviously is way out of our budget for a left-back. So to get him for around £13-14 million is a really, really good bargain. Maybe slightly more expensive than uh, Jetro Willems may have been if we'd exercised that release clause in his contract, but still a good sign with Premier League experience under his belt. Obviously, playing for Norwich City, he was part of the side that won a promotion back to the Premier League uh, a couple of seasons ago, and he played a lot of games in the first team in the Premier League, obviously did go down with them. Uh, he plays at left back, can play at left mid as well if we're playing a back five, maybe as a wing back, maybe a slightly better alternative to Richie in terms of pace. So he's not a massively physical player with the likes of Dummett playing left back as well. So he offers a different kind of player there. And we know he does like to get forward. Obviously, he's been part of a Norwich team that played very fluid football, very attacking football. And if Liverpool were after him, obviously their full backs are massively attacking as well. So maybe that gives an indication of the style of football Steve Bruce wants to play next season. We'll see if Jamal Lewis will slide straight into that first team in that left back slot. But it's exciting nevertheless. He's pulled out of the Northern Ireland squad in the Nations League to finalise this deal. And he is announced the day after we've brought in Callum Wilson and Ryan Fraser. So some positive moves being made by us in the transfer market. Let us know down below if you think that this is a good signing, if we should have gone for somebody else. Obviously, we were linked with a couple of other left backs as well. If you think this is the better option because he's got Premier League experience, he's still young. Like I said, he's only 22. He's got time to grow and develop in this squad. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. For me personally, I think it's a really, really good deal. We've opted for a fourth player in this transfer window with Premier League experience. So we're not going for unproven players that may or may not slide into this Premier League team. So we're going for someone that has experienced the Premier League, knows the pace and physicality of the game and knows what to expect. He should ideally form a decent partnership with whoever's playing on the left. We don't know if it's going to be Almiron, Fraser, St Maximan or even Joe Linton this season. We don't know where they're going to play it. It'll be interesting to see how we line up against West Ham this Saturday. So obviously we've passed Fraser and Wilson over the line. I think they're both going to be declared fit and ready to play on Saturday against West Ham. We'll see if Lewis is also the case. Obviously he's been away on international duty with Northern Ireland. He played a full 90 minutes in their 1-1 draw, but obviously pulled out before the second game. So we'll see if he slots straight in or whether Paul Dunnett or somebody else like Richie is going to fill in that left back slot for the first few games. And it'll be interesting to see if whether Bruce goes with a back three or a back five with pacey wing backs, maybe utilising Yedlin and Lewis as they're a bit more pacey rather than physical. Um, or if you'll stick with a back four um, using Mankio or Kraft in those full back positions as well. So overall, though, I think it's an ambitious signing by the club. We'll wait to see how it pans out. Obviously, he could flop, but fingers crossed he doesn't. He's a young lad. And hopefully it'll slot in alongside someone with a bit of experience and the lads can blood him in easily and it won't be too much of a transition for him. And he'll hopefully dominate that left back spot slot for us going forward into this season. If we play a similar style to the way we've been playing, it seems like Jamal Lewis could be a perfect fit sitting back and then hitting teams on the break with pace. So he likes to get involved with the attacking contributions. Usually not too many goals and assists for him, but he does get involved in the build-up play. He likes a little give and go with the winger and the overlap. So it'll be interesting to see him and maybe Sam Maximan in the build-up, or even Fraser, who in the last two seasons I think has the fourth most assists in the Premier League. So um, we'll see how it pans out for him, but it looks like to be the perfect player to fit in Steve Bruce's current tactics. So decent little sign-in from us. Maybe not as good as Jethro Willems, but... If ifs and buts and coconuts, we'd all be fiver, wouldn't we? So we'll see how he fits in and hopefully it's a decent little sign-in for us. For me, overall, though, I think we've played a really smart transfer window. We've brought in four players with Premier League experience. We've spent money where it matters. We've brought in that proven goal scorer in Callum Wilson. We know we can do it in the Premier League with Ryan Fraser. That's a dead smart transfer on a free, not costing us too much there. And then we splashed a bit of cash on Jamal Lewis as well, covering that left-back spot 
where we so desperately needed cover. And of course, Jeff Hendrick at the start of the window brings in that bit of experience into the dressing room as well as a bit of cover in midfield as well. But as always, get involved in the comments below. Let us know, do you think this has been a good transfer window for the club? Do you think we could have done any better? Is there anyone you'd still like to see head out the door from the current squad and any more you'd like to see come in? Comment down below and get involved. Start a little debate down there. That's all for now. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all things Newcastle United. But for now, I've been Matt and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV.